What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. I just sent the contract for the Chicago Pro yesterday. Good move by Antoine committing to Chicago Pro this weekend. He is in the best shape of his life. And there is no reason to sit out of this show. The biggest challenge for Antoine is to pack up and fly for the US. Then get rid of the water from the flight and the food he ate after Vancouver Pro. So, my name is not on the list they posted, but I will be there. I gotta pack and train and do all this shit to them. Cut kind of 10 pounds over from the flight and the food I ate. Now, if he shows up with the same package that we saw at Van Pro, Chances are he is gonna win and earn his spot at the Olympia as well. With respect to his health perspective, this has got to be the best move. Earn your Olympia qualification early, get off all sorts of gear and let your body recover before starting the prep for the Olympia. For the people speculating whether Ian will enter Chicago or any other show like Texas, or Tampa Pro before the Olympia, according to the IG page, Bodybuilders Without Borders, he isn't gonna compete in any show before the Olympia. So that is an entirely different approach by Ian, as compared to 2021, where he competed in three different shows before the Olympia. He won the Tampa and Texas, and he was runner-up at the Arnold Classic. But he did say that out of all his stage appearances in 2021, the Olympia look was his least favorite. So, he is trying to peak 100% for the Olympia. There won't be a 6 or 8 weeks prep for Terence this time for the upcoming Olympia. The growing phase is in action for now because this will be Terence's biggest on-stage appearance. He was playing catch-up during his prep for this year's Arnold Classic after he came under the weather due to COVID. He was lighter than both the Olympia and Arnold last year. And yet, he still won. Not to mention he beat a much-improved Ramon and Urs from the previous Olympia. Terence is always sharp. Imagine him 5 pounds heavier on stage in December. He can be a problem for everyone, including Chris Bumstead. Which IFBB Pro are you guys most anticipated to see in Arnold Classic UK stage? Mark Hector definitely has to be in the list. Dues have been paid off in the offseason and much needed size has been added. He is looking absolutely huge in his progress update. He made his pro debut at the end of 2020 and took the next year off entirely from any competition. So that is 15 months dedicated to offseason. Anyone who is a fan of classic bodybuilding must be a fan of his physique. So, his return to the stage is gonna be exciting. Lots of eyes will be on Andrew Jack, who is making his pro debut here. I don't think anyone in the competitors list will be sleeping on this guy. He is in a crazy shape right now. When close, to 300 pounds. People were really curious how Andrew would do if he jumps into the pro open bodybuilding right after winning his pro card. That was in March. But that didn't happen because his team, George Farah and Flex Wheeler believed that his legs are a lagging body part in comparison to his upper body. So, a lot of work has been done in the last few months 
to fix that. So, let's see how he does at his pro debut. I think the former 212 Mr. Olympia Kamal is secretly prepping for a show. He looks way too lean for 5 months out. This guy doesn't get enough credit. He keeps on improving at that level which makes him a title contender even at the age of 51. Even if Derek chooses to stay in the 212 this year, Kamal is still a threat to the title because we don't know whether Derek can look as good as he did last year after dropping so much muscle. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.